Matt Amp here reporting from Philippines Airline from Manila to Davao City and uh, I've just enjoyed a nice Four Seasons juice. I know when we land in Davao City in a few minutes the itinerary just says March 24th adventure, March 25th adventure, March 26th adventure. There's something better I'm waiting for Don't leave me standing right at your door Fire and metal I know you're looking We've just come from the Davao City Airport and uh, Nono is driving us to Coffee for Peace. We've Willard and I have been uh, received warmly by Joji. Hi to Joji. <laughs> and she's got a great schedule planned for us, but right now we're going to Coffee for Peace and saying hello over there. And then uh, I heard next is Mount Apple and uh, visiting the coffee farmers there. So we're gonna have a great time. We're at the Coffee for Peace. Apparently there's a coffee that um, is made from the poo of cats. It's cats, I think, that, that have eaten the coffee beans. So I'm gonna, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna start the morning with is some cat poo coffee. So enjoy. Look, is that coffee? Meow. <laughs> we have worked as peace builders in this area for a few years, and we found out that the best way to bring peace is over a cup of coffee. That's why we started Coffee for Peace, both to support peace building effort in this region and to support local farmers so they, they can concentrate on their business and not on the pain for future conflict. Now that we have been prepared, Joji and I, they, they told me I can take my wife with me to the field. So we went to the Moro Islamic Liberation Front with my wife. <laughs> Those are the guys surrounding my wife. They had, don't have boots. Some of them are on slippers. See? Wow. Those are the guerrilla units. How are you doing? Why haven't I heard from you in a while? I don't know how to say it. Yeah, we, we were here for six months, last two years ago. And then we continue doing a follow-up with them. So training them, follow-up, relating with them. Sometimes Dawn would be sleeping here. Oh, Just, man. you know, relationship building. No kidding. Yeah. So seven to two families around here. So I can see that she's building a new house there. <laughs> Where did the money come from? From Kupi, income of Kupi. <laughs> <laughs> so she's good. happy. <laughs> Very happy. Look at this, yeah. Oh, there's barbed wire here. Green beans, red beans. We have to mitigate the soil erosion by planting more coffee trees because the plan here is to have more coffee trees to save the mountain. And as you could see, it's denuded. It should be like that, that forest, dense forest, mountain. So to make this uh, sustainable, they have to have an income. And Arabica coffee tree needs some shades. So we need to plant more forest trees. That's why as much as we can encourage people not just to plant vegetable, but also plant trees around mm -hmm. while they are here, then we are saving this mountain. Anthem for the rich and broken hearted, use I 
I don't want to talk to you. I see how you live, I know just what you're going to say. And so I sing a song for you <laughs> to run you to the, the pearls where they lay. Anthem for the rich and broken hearted. In an early rise after three hours of sleep and um, got a wind, new wind pretty fast when we started coming up to Mount Epo and started seeing these huge picturesque um, mountains but uh, also like we had been warned they're quite bald from being deforested and it's great to learn how Coffee for Peace is also reforesting it and what they're doing with the 72 families up here. And, um, so we're learning about all this stuff and then we get to try the coffee which when you're traveling and you get to eat the food or drink of something that comes from the land uh, and you're getting to consume it at the place where it was grown, it always changes it. So the coffee was incredible. Uh, and then we started trading songs. I did a few songs just to uh, start things off and it was wonderful. People sang along and then uh, and then one of the women here that's a farmer started singing one of the one of her songs in in her language and it was it was uh, beautiful and political all at once like the best folk songs and then and then Kevin who's working for Coffee for Peace she's started singing songs and uh, music it's a global language Bye -bye. Bye -bye. This is the New People's Army Zone. The New People's Army Zone, wow. So, so we're in the NPA area. And welcome. Thank you. You're very dangerous here, so let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> better get out of here. This is the, one of the most dangerous places for government agencies and, and big, corporations. big corporations and military. But Joji and Coffee for Peace can go around here mm. and it was we the government agencies like what Department of Agriculture, Agriculture Department and of Trade and Industries. Industries roam around here with Coffee for Peace wow. and they're safe. Mm. It's like a peace passport. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's incredible. It's a little nerve-wracking when you come around the corner and uh, there's a military checkpoint with <laughs> all these machine guns. But uh, and I was just I was trying to figure out right away: is this the military or is this the uh, national or the New People's Army? Because you know, <laughs> how are we going to relate to them? This is uh, we're in the middle of Bukidnon, and uh, uh, about two weeks ago there was. Uh, a bunch of trucks that were burned over there and then last Monday there was a bombing uh, downhill and uh, this is one of the most critical areas in terms of the uh, government and the new people's army Today we got to meet the Talandig tribe. Talandig tribe that uh, uh, hear their story, their creation story, and this uh, meeting where we can come together with different faith ideas, but uh, but have dialogue and ha and share a meal and share dancing and jokes and um, and music. Very inspiring. What they gave us and what they shared with me and the rest of us was was their deepest their deepest offering of honor and mutual respect. And, and then we did monkey dances. <laughs> and uh, and uh, well, I had to participate with the children. <laughs> Having never been to Southeast Asia, this invitation to come see the Philippines was a very exciting one and very promising because I've always wanted to come. And to come in the context of Coffee for Peace and also to bring my music, that's, that's why I feel the best way to enter a new place. Because if you come as a tourist, um, you don't have the same welcome. And if you come as somebody that has something to share, <laughs> then somebody will share with you. And so 
I've come with an open heart, open eyes, open ears, and um, an open mind to receive everything I had to receive from both the Philippines and from the people I would meet here, and from Coffee for Peace. And it's been a whirlwind handful of days, landing in Manila, seeing that for the first time, playing a show in the poorest neighborhood there, maybe in the whole Philippines, Tondo. And then the next night being with the richest people in the Philippines and playing some songs and feeling that dynamic change. Such a wonderful thing to see people from opposites, rich and poor, come together. And also with opposite faiths, like the Christian and the Muslim. There's many different uh, opposing and conflicting groups here, but, but people do want peace. You can see it, um, Coffee for Peace, Dan and Joji have relationships with every every one of those factions. All the religion, religious leaders, the political leaders, the uh, rebel groups, they are friends with all of them and they have dialogue with all of them. I think they model Jesus very well. And it's extremely inspiring to me. And, and I feel like, uh, you know, it's gonna take me a long time to really digest everything I've seen in the last while, but I'm taking this home to Canada. I'm gonna take this to Europe. I'm gonna take this all over the world. And then I'm gonna come back. <laughs> I wanna come back and see everyone again because these are real relationships and that's, um, that's what I've learned and been affirmed in, in this visit, is that real relationships are the key to everything and the key to peace. Ooh.